Hello there guys, this is Jack One Day talking here and today I've got another video for you. So in today's video we're going to be talking about the AMD Radon RX 6900 XT. I'm going to be going through the specs, benchmarks and the price. Just to let you know, all the information in this video is now confirmed besides the benchmarks which were recently leaked. So I will show you them too, I had to put that out there just so you guys know. But anyway, let's get straight into the specs. The Radon RX 6900 XT is an enthusiast class graphics card by AMD. It launched in October 2020. It's built on the 7 nanometer process and based on the Navi 21 graphics processor. In its Navi 21 XTX variant, the card supports DirectX 12 Ultimate. This ensures all modern games will run on the 6900 XT. Additionally, the DirectX 12 Ultimate compatibility guarantees support for hardware ray tracing, variable rate, shading and more in upcoming video games. The Navi 21 graphics processor is a large chip which has a die area of 520mm squared and 26,800 million transistors. It features 5,120 shading units aka CUDA cores, also 320 texture mapping units and lastly 128 ROOPs. The card also has 80 ray tracing acceleration cores. AMD has paired 16GB of DDR6 memory with this GPU, which are connected using 256-bit memory interface. The GPU is operating at a frequency of 1825MHz, which can be boosted up to 2250MHz. Memory is running at 2000MHz, which is 16GB effective. Being a triple slot card, the 6900 XT draws power from two 8-pin power connectors, with power draw rated at 300 watt maximum. So this graphics card has a minimum requirement of 850 watts power supply unit, so bear that in mind if you're looking for a build with this graphics card. The display outputs include one HDMI, two display ports, and one USB Type-C. It is connected to the rest of the system using a PCI Express 4.0x16 interface. The card's dimensions are 267mm x 120mm x 50mm and it features a triple slot cooling system. Feel free to pause the video to take a more in depth read of the key features and specs. Now let's get into the benchmarks. My recommended gaming resolutions for this GPU would be anything up to 4K. However, this is heavily dependent on which titles you play, the graphics options you sort of choose, and which other components you pair this up with, and lastly, the FPS you'd be happy with. Pretty much every game it can play in 4K, but you do have to bear in mind that the FPS will be obviously a lot lower compared to playing games at 1080p or 1440p. So now let's go into the leaked benchmarks to see what you can expect from this card. On screen is the Geekbench OpenCL benchmarks results with a score of 169,779 OpenCL points. The graphics card is 12% faster than the RX 6800 XT and 35% faster than the RX 6800 non XT. Interestingly, the RX 6900 XT features 11% more stream processors than the RX 6800 XT and 33% more than the RX 6800 non XT. So the scaling is almost linear, as expected. The graphics card will still lose against the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 and the RTX 3090, which are respectively 4% and 90% faster than the RX 6900 XT. However, you've got to consider the price. Talking about price, let's get into it. So the price is confirmed and the RX 6900 XT will cost 999 US dollars. For those in the UK, that's £750, and for those that want it in Euros, that's €825. Euros. Now let's get on to release date. The release date is the 8th of December 2020, so that's very soon, so make sure you are prepared if you're looking to buy one, or if you're like most of us and just watching videos on things you can't afford. Make sure you comment that down below if that's you. 
Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If so, please smash the thumbs up button. Also subscribe because I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I'd greatly appreciate that. And also turn that bell notification on so you're notified every time I upload and keep up to date with the latest and greatest news on tech and gaming. That's it from me. Peace.